Hello. So, uh, normally when you uh, in VR have a 3D widget and you put it in front of the camera, um, things can clip through, but I uh, figured out a way to get it to always appear on top, so hopefully that's helpful. Uh, let's see. So first we have our VR template. It's it's uh, pretty basic, and there it is. Um, anyways, so uh, what we want to do is jump into, let's see, maps and VR motion controller map, and then I also want to go into blue, blueprints, or let's create the widget real quick. So under content, I'm gonna say uh, new user interface. We'll make a widget blueprint, and then we drag that over here, and we'll put some text in, just so we can see what we're seeing. And we'll make this really big, like 300. There you go, it's big, there's a widget. So now, um, I don't know if anybody else did it this way, this is probably totally hacky, but it's the way I did it. So if we open up blueprints and we open up the motion controller pawn, and here's our VR camera, um, and then underneath the camera, I added a component, I said widget, um, there it is, and then it's here. So now, when we select widget class, and we select the one we just created, well, there it is, but it's only a piece of it, so we gotta change its draw size to, I don't know, 2048 by 2048. That way, hooray, it's big. Um, so now when we rotate it around this way and sh whoop, shrink it in and when we put it out in front of the camera and we say compile and save and then we say play um, VR preview well right now um, see it clips through the ground because it's an actual 3d thing um, however what we want to do first is we want to go down to the bottom of the widget um, and where'd it go? On blend mode, set it to transparent. First do that, so remember, select the widget, go down to rendering, set blend mode to transparent, and then you wanna go back up and, uh, well, we'll hit compile and save while we're here. And then under the materials for the widget, this is how you find this thing. Um, you select uh, the browse to find that material, and it's in part of the uh, engine content, so be a little careful. Um, and then that's this guy, so I double clicked and open. And then we want to know its parent, so we browse to that and open that. And then we want to know its parent, which is called Widget 3D Pass Through. And this is the main material we're after. This is the actual one. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to, under the details for the uh, whole material, we want to search for, uh, what's it, depth. So D E P. And then in where it says disable depth te test, check that and then hit save and know that this is going to change it across the board. So any project you have, it changes this material. So know that fair warning. Um, but now when we come back over to the ver and we hit play, um, now it's always in front of everything. Um, it does have some weird aliasing. I wonder. Uh, yeah, it does have some strange aliasing artifacting going around the sides. But, hey, that gets you part of the way. The aliasing, I don't know yet. Um, but, yeah, so maybe set it farther from the camera or something and that'll help it. I don't know. Anywho, there you go. So now it's in front of everything all the time. And hopefully that got you there quick and hopefully that's helpful. So, yeah, hope all is well out there and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Right. Yeah. As soon as I find my mouse. Mm -hmm.